In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best horror TV shows of 2023. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. At number 10 we have, Slasher, a Ripper, is about a serial killer known as the Widow, who targets the rich and powerful in 1890s Toronto. The only one who can stop the killer is Detective Kenneth Reekers, who has a strong sense of justice. The show follows the investigation of the murders, as well as the secrets and scandals of the victims and suspects. The show also explores the social and political issues of the era, such as class conflict, racism. Why? Whoever did that knew a thing or two about human anatomy. I fear for your soul. The show stars Eric McCormick as Basil Garvey, a ruthless tycoon, and Gabriel Darko as Reekers. Goosebumps. Oh! oh my god. We need to talk. Why does James smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers? I was just gonna say. At number nine we have Goosebumps plunges viewers into a world of mystery and suspense. It follows a group of five high schoolers who embark on a shadowy and twisted journey. Their mission, to investigate the tragic passing of a teen named Harold Biddle three decades earlier. Along the way, they unearth dark secrets from their parents' past. This is all connected. He's getting revenge <laughs> for what our parents did to him. I get those <laughs> Oh my god, we're murder Nepo babies. The show abandons the anthology format of the 1995 original TV series, opting for a serialized style of storytelling. While still featuring many existing Goosebumps monsters and items, it weaves a captivating tale of intrigue, horror, and teenage curiosity. Chucky. Again. He's a killer in a White House. This is gonna be Halloween. At number 8 we have, Chucky, created by Don Mancini, continues the chilling saga rooted in the Child's Play film franchise. Set 25 years after the original events, the show introduces us to Jake Wheeler, who unwittingly acquires the infamous Chucky doll. As Jake grapples with his sexuality, Chucky's malevolence takes center stage. The doll manipulates Jake into committing violent acts, leaving a trail of bizarre and shocking murders. Chucky? In the White House? We're responsible for Chucky. We're going to DC. He knows where my sister is. We're gonna kill Chucky, guys. Meanwhile, in the White House, President James Collins introduces a doll named Joseph, eerily sharing the name of his deceased son. But Joseph is no ordinary toy. It's Chucky, and its reign of terror extends beyond the Oval Office. This season unfolds with suspense, horror, and a dark exploration of the human psyche. The Last of Us. You trust me? At number 7 we have, The Last of Us is a post-apocalyptic drama based on the popular video game franchise. Set after a global pandemic devastates civilization, the show follows Joel Miller, played by Pedro Pascal, a hardened survivor who takes charge of Ellie Williams, portrayed by Bella Ramsey, a 14-year-old girl who may hold the key to humanity's survival. Their journey through a dangerous and desolate world is fraught with peril as they encounter infected creatures, desperate survivors, and their own hunting pasts. Everything right. The series weaves themes of hope, loss, and resilience, exploring the bond between Joel and Ellie as they navigate this harsh new reality. The Walking Dead, Dead City. I think you're gonna like it here. At number six we have The Walking Dead, Dead City, follows the most unlikely pairing of fan favorite characters, Maggie portrayed by Lauren Cohen, and Negan, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. These two have been at odds since Negan brutally ended Maggie's husband, Glenn. Now, they join forces to search for Maggie's missing son. Their journey takes them into a post-apocalyptic Manhattan, long severed from the mainland. The city teems with the dead and denizens who have carved out their own world within New York's crumbling streets. Sure that. It's a real reason we're here. So you want to get to the cycle? 
that we can help you with. Amid anarchy, danger, beauty, and terror, Maggie and Negan navigate this grim urban landscape, unraveling secrets and facing unimaginable horrors. Jello Jackets Season 2. We hear the wilderness and it hears us. We hear the wilderness and it hears us. At number 5, we have Yellow Jackets Season 2. Continuing the gripping saga that began with a high school soccer team's harrowing plane crash in the Canadian wilderness back in 1996. Now, 25 years later, the survivors grapple with trauma, secrets, and a divide that threatens their fragile unity. As tensions escalate, the teenagers descend into cannibalistic clans, while the adults confront the aftermath of a kidnapping one that aims to expose the truth about the past. Find a way to stay alive. The show deftly blends mystery, horror, and psychological turmoil, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. American Horror Story, Delicate. Opening to me. Pain is the touchstone of growth. At number four, we have American Horror Story, Delicate, is about Anna, a movie star who wants to have a baby with her husband, Dex. She undergoes IVF treatments, but suffers a miscarriage. However, she still feels the baby inside her and starts to have terrifying visions and encounters. She realizes that something sinister is behind her pregnancy and that no one can be trusted. She must find out the truth before it's too late. I need you to believe me. Rock my baby on the tree. Get away from my baby! The show is based on a novel by Danielle Valentine and features elements of maternity horror, cults. From season two. What if it's all just a dream? At number three we have, from season two, is about a mysterious town that traps everyone who enters and unleashes terrifying creatures in the dark. In season two, a group of newcomers arrives in town unaware of the danger they face. Meanwhile, the residents try to find a way out, but discover new secrets and threats lurking beneath the town. Birds sing in the sycamore tree. What if all this was designed just to see how we react? The show is a horror mystery drama that explores the themes of survival, fear, and human nature. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. At number two we have The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, is a gripping horror drama that follows the journey of Daryl Dixon, portrayed by Norman Reedus. After washing ashore in France, Daryl grapples with piecing together how he got there and why. The broken yet resilient landscape of France becomes his backdrop as he desperately seeks a way back home. Along the way, unexpected connections form, complicating his ultimate plan. Daryl, once a skilled hunter and a former recruiter for Alexandria, now faces a treacherous path across the Atlantic Ocean. Things happen. Things are changing, you know. Maybe it was a saying that way. As he navigates this post-apocalyptic world, survival, trust, and the hunting specter of the undead entered wine in the suspenseful tale. The Fall of the House of Usher, House of Usher. At number one we have The Fall of the House of Usher, released in 2023. The Fall of the House of Usher is a Netflix series based on the works of Edgar Allan Poe. It follows the rise and fall of a powerful family that controls a corrupt pharmaceutical company. The show is about Roderick Usher, a ruthless CEO who loses all six of his children in mysterious and gruesome ways. He invites C. Auguste Dupin, an ambitious prosecutor, to his ancestral home to reveal the dark secrets of his family and their legacy. Nevermore. 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 The show is a gothic horror drama that explores themes of madness, revenge, betrayal, and corruption. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. 
and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.